I say this all the time, probably to every single person I have conversations with, but it's probably my favorite question. Influencers come sometimes in a, in a minute, sometimes for a lifetime. Um, my first influencer, my grandfather was from Kiev, my mother, my aunt, my grandmother, and he used to take me for walks in the park in Montreal when I was five. And one time I asked him, I called him Zeta, how do you, how do you know all these people? And he said, well, one day I smiled at this guy and he came over and he smiled at me. And we started talking, we were laughing. And this other person came over and smiled at us. And I'm thinking, wow, this is like pretty simple. You just smile. And, um, and so, again, we've all had many influencers. Can you share two or three that have been influential in your life? It's, you know, there, there were probably a lot, uh, but maybe just to say um, the, I, I guess part of what I do and who I am and like the expectation of like how I approach problem, like date back, maybe even to, you know, learning this from my parents in terms of like, you know, just, you know, when there's a problem, like you're going to tackle that, like in this like kind of like early life kind of like influence. Yeah. Uh, I would say uh, working at uh, BCG, like Boston Consulting Group, one of the partners I worked with for several years, actually, uh, I learned you only do great work and you over deliver. Now, this is a hard one to actually say, <laughs> uh, but it's um the, I, I think this is something that has served me well, like in a lot of different places, but I also learned that, you know, you can do everything you want and need. You just need to work really hard. And yes, sometimes you've got to be lucky. Um, and then I, I, I guess in the, in, you know, late, later on in like the, you know, in the startup phase, also with Shared Emilia, now Innovation Accelerator, I think I probably got most influence or inspiration from some, you know, startup founders and how they approach and like the tenacity of solving problems and not giving up. Um, and, you know, whether this is now one of the business celebrities that people follow or like, I think it's probably even more some of the individuals I met, like, you know, in accelerators, other startup founders um, to really believe and relentlessly, you know, push for solving a problem that you deeply care about. I think that's something that really made a difference. Yeah, that, that that's that's brilliant. And uh, you know what I find is um, there's a lot of people that people know, they're famous, they're this, that, in business or celebrity, but there's so many others that we don't know that are really influencers and, and doing great. And if nothing else, it should teach us that we're always influencing people, even if we don't know it. And why not be choose to be positive rather than negative? Because you never know what that person's gonna gonna accomplish. Thanks for sharing that.